Super Bowl. No, this ain't quality that was. And thank you for joining us for this Valentine's Day presentation of the NBA. It's a matchup you're going to love right here on 2K Sports. Tonight, it'll be the Utah Jam going up against the Houston Rockets. Welcome, everyone, to the broadcast table. Chris Weber to my right, Greg Anthony to my left. I'm Kevin Harlan and David Aldridge on our sideline. And a look at the block shot number over the last few seasons for Hassan Whiteside. The blocks just aren't coming for him nearly as much as they were a few years ago. I think he's lost a little something in terms of that intimidation factor and that ability to change a game with his interior defense, and, and that's too bad. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the lowdown from the sidelines, and we've got David Aldridge there for that. David, good evening. Good evening to you, Kevin. Donovan Mitchell is precocious beyond his years. He says, I lead a lot using my voice. It's natural for me. And Coach Quinn Snyder said, the way Donovan carries himself is infectious. There's an innocence to the way he plays. He's not showboating. He's just smiling. He loves to compete. Guys? I love his personality. That was a great story, Dave. Thank you. Some of the best in the game go at it here tonight, Chris. What an incredible guard matchup we have here in this one. There are some of the all-time greats playing at the guard spot these days. I mean, look, this is going to be a fun matchup to watch. Here's the starting group for Houston. The pairing up front, Tice and Wood. Out on the perimeter, Green and Gordon. And it's Wall in at the point guard position. Go. And for Utah, Conley is the point with Mitchell as the two guard. In at the small and power forward, it's Ingles and Bogdanovich. And it's Gobert in at the center, filling out the middle. Now, here's Mitchell. Really played well against Orlando in his last outing. Bogdanovich against Tice. Got a hand on it. Outside, Wall. He's off on that one. Gobert with the defensive effort. Bogdanovich finds Conley. Off target from outside. Last game for Houston, they picked up the win against Toronto. All with it, now defended by Mitchell. Walls, shot is off. And so it's Ingles with it. He brings it up for Utah. Bogdanovich dishes to Ingles. Gobert the pass to Ingles. Here's Conley, and he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. But look how lethal Conley is from the mid-range. I mean, his sweet lefty stroke. Woo. Nice. And Wall kicks to Green. At the elbow, it's Gordon. Tice, no one around him. Knocks down the three ball. Well, I think playmaking has always been in Gordon's DNA. He loves to score, don't get me wrong. He also loves to shit. Conley dishes to Mitchell. He can't get that one to fall. Rockets have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Outside Gordon. Outside Wall. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Michael Conley picks one up. Hey, Chris, at this point in Wall's career, what are you seeing from him in terms of his mindset? He once said, Kevin, you don't get recognition as a point guard if you don't win. He's all about team success right now. Looking for that elusive chip. And great to see Wall beat a couple major injuries. Had to attack rehab twice. Doesn't always get enough credit for his dedication to the game. That free throw, no good. And for Wall, Greg, has his game changed at all now that he's into his 30s? And he's so much stronger now. Just as liable to go through you than around you. Better at varying the tempo and controlling the pace of the game. Good on the second free throw. One of the most impressive things about John Wall has to be his athleticism. He's a smaller player, 
but he can do big things like win slam dunk contests and outrun most of the guys. Now, here's Mitchell. He averages over 27 points a game and seems to always find a way to score. Gobert with a screen on wall. Conley with it. Now Green defending. It's stolen by Tice. Green deciding where to go with it. Another miss by Houston. And so Conley will bring the ball up for the jam. Trailing by two. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. Yeah, I mean, we saw them do a little bit of everything in that game. Showed a lot of versatility. Yeah, the offense looked cohesive last night. Whatever challenge the opposition presented, well, they answered with confidence. First quarter of play, we're about three minutes in. Ball passes to Green. The Rockets with another miss. Jazz have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Pass to Conley. Mitchell outside. Offensive rebound. Gordon with it. Now guarded by Bogdanovich. Come to me, come to me. Conley against Wall. Tice sets a screen for Wall. Driving inside. Tremendous when he's attacking the rim. Wall is so tough to guard. Utah's gone 0-2 from deep here. Conley dishes to Mitchell. From the arc. Hands it from downtown. Mitchell's got five. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Screen by Tice. And Wall. Here we go now. And no good that time. So Utah will take it the other way. Still plenty of time for him to contribute in this game, but it's a tough stretch he's going through. The Jazz working the ball around now. Here's Gobert. It's rebounded by Tice. The Rockets trail. Outside wall. Driving in. Gobert with the defensive effort. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Passes to Conley. Gobert with a screen on wall. Wood with the block. The length of wood covers a lot of ground, as you see there, with a fantastic block. And the wide open shot from Green. Houston with a new 14. They shoot again. Gobert with the block. Mitchell with it. He's picked up by Wall. From 11 feet away. And that one hits back iron. To the middle. Here's Bogdanovich. It's rebounded by Houston. Tice has got four rebounds in this game. Here's Wall. That shot off. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. Ingles finds Conley. Bogdanovich sets the pick for Conley. The drive by Mitchell. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. He's got seven. And how about the strength from Mitchell? Looking tough and determined on that aggressive take inside. All right, fans, get on your feet. Make some noise for T-shirt time. All right, more teams coming out of the court. Come on, get lost. Enjoy your chance,
an almost entirely new group. Right side's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Gay comes in for Bogdanovich. Royce O'Neal's checked in for Joe Ingles. And it's Jordan Clarkson in for Mike Conley. to Augustine. Now Nwaba. Back to Augustine. There's the pick. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Mitchell. On the wing Mitchell. Over Augustine. And the shot is long. It's trailed by three. And here's Nwaba. the pass to Augustine on the wing Porter just five on the clock pass to Shengu trying to end the drought and it's Hassan Whiteside with the rebound that's a shot they're always happy to get even when he blows the finish to the left wing O'Neal kicks to Clarkson O'Neal is screen on Porter down low Martin up top. He's covered by Gay. Gay with the block. And Gay has put a ton of work into his defense over the years, specifically how he times blocking those shots. Here is Porter. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Hits the three-point bomb. And so Clarkson will bring it up for the Utah Jams. Last time these two teams came together was also in this building. They were able to win it for the home fans. And guys, they, they walked into the arena with a certain kind of swagger. And we really saw it play out on the offensive end. They looked totally in sync. They knew what they wanted to accomplish. And then they went out there and did it. Here is Porter. Hassan Whiteside made his last pass. Yeah, Whiteside won't allow that. You have to work way harder to outplay a blocker of his talent. O'Neal passes to Clarkson. Got a piece of it. And he gets it back over Porter. Now Martin. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Passes it to Shengu. And the foul called on Hassan Whiteside. That is his first That's foul of the game. And really, That's these are some of the toughest first calls first. an official Second has to make. Team I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference Eric maker Pascal. here tonight. Eric Pasco, he's checked in for Utah. Passes to Augustine. Pass to Shengun. Lock at six. Martin wide open. He fires. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And the Rockets lead by one. Clarkson against Porter. Clarkson dishes to Mitchell. Whiteside kicks to Mitchell. Good for another basket for him. Number four today. He's four of eight. And man, does Mitchell get buckets. And from everywhere on the floor. A, a versatile offensive threat. And they call him Spider because of that long wingspan. 6'10 at present. But standing 6'1. Mitchell needs that to compete defensively at that shooting guard position. Now, here's Porter. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. Mitchell against Augustine. Outside Porter. Here's the three. Good on the three-point shot. Porter. Junior. Porter's got a couple of threes now in the first for Houston. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song. Back and forth. Here's Clarkson. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Orlando. I mean, and you look at his free throw numbers. And it shows you how much pressure he put on the defense. Augustine looking around. 
And he drives in, and it's blocked by Whiteside. And there's the pass to Clarkson. Porter with the steal. The dish now to Augustine. Inside. Here's Shengu. One second left. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Now it's a four-point rocket lead, and we reach the end of the first quarter. Houston on top, up four. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. of this Utah Jazz team, a big part of what they're all about, as we hear from all-star Donovan Mitchell. You got guys who are continuously making plays, you know, and I think we thrive off of, and I think the best part about it is we don't really care who it is. You know, I think that's what separates us from a lot of, a lot of teams, and that's what's going to hopefully get us to that next step. I think that's the best thing about this team. It doesn't matter who it is. We're going to go out there and continue to find the open man and play the right way. Break the depth of the jam, obviously helping with that equal opportunity approach. And Kevin, that's a great point. You credit the mindset, but it's also their personnel that makes it possible. And we resume our Valentine's Day broadcast. Glad to have you with us. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Houston. They deserve a lot of credit for the defense they played in the paint here early. Contesting shots, blocking shots, just making life difficult on the opposing shooters in general. And also, they've been really active on the defensive end in terms of applying pressure and coming away with steals. Conley out there with Joe Ingles. Then it's Rudy Gobert. Then it's O'Neal. And it's Pascal in at the four-man position. That's the five on the floor for the Jams. And the first one at the line is good. And, Greg, some players say they watch the standings. Others say they ignore them. Which side were you on? You, you know, at times I, I did a little of both. But I, I typically wanted to watch, especially when my team was relevant. Now, there was a couple years where I had no, uh, no desire at all to see where our team was because I knew we were pretty close to the bar. No free throws good from Eric Gordon. And when he's healthy, Gordon is extremely effective. An incredible score who fills up the stat sheet. Green against Ingle. Has to go bare. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Green. That is his first foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. Here's Gobert. His last outing, he had eight points. Gobert, the screen. Here's Conley. Strong defensive awareness pays off for Wood, putting good coverage on the shooter. Here's Ingles. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently, not the, the, the defenders. All against Conley. Green inside. Shot clock at six. Back the wall. Makes it off the glass. Wall's got the lead up to six now for Houston. And sometimes it seems Wall prefers to finish through contact. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Utah Jazz last season was elite at both ends of the floor. Sixth Man of the Year winner Jordan Clarkson says, three things we've been doing well are playing fast, sharing the basketball, and defense. We're playing a fun style of basketball and just keep racking up the wins. Guys? They are fun to watch, and a handful. D.A. thanks. He'll breathe a big sigh of relief if they hang on to win this game. He's not done much to contribute to it. Ingles finds Gobert. The Jazz working the ball around now. A floater. It's rebounded by Houston. 
Know what a kind of competitor he is? I know he's upset with his performance and with the score. There's Green with the three. Here's Wood. And terrific work on the offensive glass when he picks up two. You have to box out Woods and let him get the board. Christian will cash it. And a first time out of the game Utah, call for Utah. Utah. And, you know, we talk about how Wood has moved around the league. He also attended three different high schools. Who so wants he's been searching, searching for direction for a long time. All right. Look who's coming onto the court. Come on. Get out. and your chance, Denver. Bob Donovich has checked in. And let's now take a look at some of the numbers for Donovan Mitchell. And, and when it comes to his scoring, he's enjoying a fantastic run. He's brought his points per game average up thanks to the work he's done in the past 10. And maybe he's got another big one in store tonight. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. O'Neal is screen on wall. Conley against Gordon. Six to shoot. Haskell with a screen on Wood. Here's Bogdanovich. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Rockets leading by six. Outside wall. And that one is off. Now the Jazz take it the other way. To the paint, here's Bogdanovich. The shot's good on the assist by Engel. And I like the commitment from Bogdanovich. Even when he gets knocked around, he stays focused on the rim. Screen by Tice. Wall, no luck. He's lucky his teammates have picked up the slack with him. I mean, his shooting has been horrific. Pascal, the best Ingles. Back to Pascal. It's stolen by Wall. The drive by Green. No good that time. Jazz trailed by four. In the corner, O'Neal with it. Kicks to Ingles. Passes it to O'Neal. Outside, Bogdanovich. To the inside, Conley. It's hauled in by Wood. Woods got his fifth rebound in this one. He's disappeared this quarter. He can't get anything to try. That's not going to help him get out of the hole. All taking his time here. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Because we see all these teams make all these moves to bring in big time talent. But how important is chemistry? Between those players, once they are sharing the same locker room. Well, it's funny because chemistry doesn't show up on the stat sheet nor in analytics, uh, but it's so essential. I mean, as a player, you need friends out there in the court, guys to hold you accountable, uh, support you, and uh, some that you enjoy the journey. With. And that one falls for John Wall. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Mike Conley.
he makes both free throws. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Pass to Basco. Nice ball movement by Utah. And Ram dunk by Pasco. He is a fantastic Can athlete for a power forward. Whatever he lacks in height, he makes up for it with hops. The loudest sex index free t-shirts. Let's see who's the loudest. All right. Look who's coming onto the court. Come on. Get loud for your chance, dancer. Kevin Porter's checked in for his And here are some players that you want on the line as often as possible these days. For the past month, these are the leading free throw shooting two guards in the league. Number one, Jordan Clarkson. And one of the benefits of being as fantastic at the free throw line as he is, is it allows him to be really aggressive at driving the lane. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for Houston. They lead by four. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. Yeah, and, and that one, they caused a lot of misfires with their intensity on the defensive end. They played with energy and communicated well. It made things difficult. And here's Clarkson following Jalen Green's three. Over Green. A shot by Clarkson, no good. Houston leading by seven. Green finds Porter. Back to Green. Fade away. They get it back. That's tipped, and he's able to get it back. Two points. That one goes. For Utah, they've gone 4 of 10 in the second quarter from the field. Mitchell dishes to Clarkson. Pass goal, the pass to Clarkson. Gordon against O'Neal. Six on the shot clock. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. And a wide open look for Porter. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And now a 12-point Houston lead. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Oh, yeah, that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with a comfortable lead. Now, here's Porter. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Green inside. He's covered by Clarkson. And even three-on-three -three break. Feeds it to Bogdanovich. Back to O'Neal. The pass to Mitchell. Screen by O'Neal. The drive by Mitchell. Oh, oh but did you see that? A dynamic leaper with an impressive wingspan. Mitchell usually has some flashy dunks up his sleeve. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. Now, here's Green. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. No good on the triple. Well, I mean, I think he better come up with some different ways to get his points tonight. Because the three, uh -uh. Not one of them. Ain't working. Clarkson against Green. 
Haskell with a screen on Green. Here's Clarkson. Wood with the block. Porter against Mitchell. Now here's Porter. He's tightly guarded. Wood in the post. Working on Pascal. Wood can't hit. Jazz trail by 10. Pascal the pass to Clarkson. Mitchell outside. Pascal with a screen on court. Mitchell kicks to Clarkson. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Clarkson's got it back down to within single digits for the Jams. Now a timeout called by Houston. Trying to find some answers offensively. Some bad shot selection as well as some bad luck. I mean, that's not going to help you score points. Quick, loud section wants a t-shirt. All right, look who's coming onto the court. Come on, get fast to go, Jazz Dancers. Sides checked in for Eric Pascal. Gobert comes in for Bogdanovich. And Rudy Gay is subbed in for O'Neal. against Clarkson. Now here is Augustine. He's covered closely. And the reach and height of Gobert, it literally makes it impossible to score over here. I mean, he's able to get all over that shot. From the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Rudy Gobert may get overlooked, but his coach understands what he means to the Utah Jazz. Quinn Snyder says his presence on the floor gives us a chance. He's our most important player as far as how he anchors our team. He's the foundation. Kevin, the way they win games, that's saying something. He is a defensive player of the year multiple times. Phenomenal play. Thanks, D.A. Porter, no luck. Jazz trailed by five. And from day one, there was no doubt about Hassan Whiteside's ability to impact the game with his defense. Yeah, he's one of a handful of guys who can rack up a triple-double using rejections as one of the stats. I mean, he makes guys think twice about driving the lane when he's on the court. Augustine. Martin trying to free himself up, and they'll keep possession. Four on the shot clock. Porter, no luck. And so Clarkson will bring it up for Utah. On the wing, Mitchell. Has to go bare. Jazz passing it around. Clarkson on the wing. And by Augustine. And another shot. That's good. The Houston lead is cut down now to just three in the basket from Clarkson. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. 
Porter passes to Shengu. Waba kicks to Augustine. Now Porter. Augustine finds Nwaba. Over again. That one off the back iron and out. Even when the D is playing off of a mid-range jumper, shouldn't be the shot. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Rockets lead by three. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Joined here with Quinn Snyder. Coach, your team has faced a lot of firepower from outside. How do you keep them from getting those three-pointers off? Well, one, they're making them. Uh, hopefully we can get them where they're not open and they're contested and see if they're making that many of them then. But uh, they're getting them a variety of ways. We just got to be better. Play outside in defense, right? Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Glad you could join us. The story tonight for the Houston Rockets through two quarters, a tightly contested matchup. The bench unit was an essential part of the puzzle in the first half. They really stepped it up in a big way, and that helped out. And now the starters can appreciate not having to carry the load on their own. As we move on, let's get a look at some of the injuries around the NBA. Someone who's had injury issues on and off the court. Paul is the conductor, the orchestrator for this team. The way he draws defensive attention, just a completely different dynamic. And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back to Kevin Harlan for the beginning of the third quarter. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Donovan Mitchell really making a difference here. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. And it's the Rockets with the ball. They've held a 12-point lead early. Taking a look at the Rockets. Out on the perimeter, Green and Gordon. The pairing up front, Tice and Wood. And it's Wall in at the point. Now Conley. After Jalen Green's three-pointer that didn't go. Conley, the pass to Bogdanovich. Gobert with a screen for Bogdanovich. Goes back up. And the basket is good. And he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And just an excellent rebounder. Gobert is so good at using that incredible wingspan to track down those additional scoring opportunities. The Jazz shooting their first foul shot of the night. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. One. Gobert, no good on that free throw. An improved free throw shooter compared to his earlier seasons. Nice to see Gobert attack his weakness. Gordon against Ingle. And it's Wall in the corner. Shot clock at six. Utah. And a moment to check out now what Utah has coming up. On Wednesday, they'll face off against Anthony Davis and the Los Angeles Lakers. And then on Friday, they'll go up against Chris Depps, Porzingis, and the Dallas Mavericks. And, and Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. No good on that one. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and he sinks the second. Utah trailing here. 
Outside Conley. He kicks it to Mitchell. It's stolen by Green. Looking to end his cold spell. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Conley dishes to Mitchell. Gobert with a screen on Green. Here's Mitchell. He feeds it to Gobert. Bogdanovich passes to Conley. Down to five on the shot clock. Stolen by Gordon. And it's Houston on the break. And it's Eric Gordon with the foul. That's his first foul. This group has players swatting away the most shots in the league. This month, the shot clock leaders. Rudy Gobert is second. And guys, as the month has unfolded, his interior defense has gotten better and better. Conley kicks to Bogdanovich. Ball against Conley. Shot clock at five. No good. That would have tied it. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Here's Tice. Five points in the game. Now here is Conley. Gobert with a screen for Conley. A steal. And it's Houston on the break. Gordon's running. The Rockets with another miss. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for Utah. In the second half, they've only given up one basket coming from the free throw line. So consistent in shooting from deep. You can't let Conley get into a rhythm from this area. And here's Wall. Michael Conley getting his three to go. Launches it. And Wall gets it to go in on the assist from Green. Green's got three assists tonight. Jazz. They're in seventh and looking to hold on to that seed for the playoffs. And of course, Houston just way behind. Right now for the Jazz, they've shown me some very good things this season. But that next step, those qualities that could make them true contenders, just haven't been there. Yeah, and I'm sure they're disappointed in that. I mean, they were hoping to take that next step. Now, here's Mitchell. 11 points in the game. Right side, Conley. Five on the clock. Here's Gobert. They grab their own miss. Conley, the pass to Bogdanovich. Tries yet again. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Woods got rebound number eight now on the night. Here's Green, and it's Green with the jam. The ball realizes it's part of his role to involve his teammates. Sweet down there. 
Mitchell kicks to Gobert. Gobert with a screen on wall. Conley dishes to Mitchell. Driving to the basket. Oh no, boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Really on the right plate defensively if he can't block force him to the line and he's got his first free throw of the game and with his percentage at 87 he's done just about everything they could have asked when it comes to free throw shooting the free throw drops for Mitchell and how fearless is Donovan Mitchell I mean as a rookie in his first playoff series, he went off for 38 in a closeout game against none other than Russell Westbrook. Whiteside's checked in for Rudy Gobert. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Oh, you can get spoiled watching him at the line. I mean, you just expect him to make every one every time. Wall against Conley. Right side wall. Here's Shangu. And it's blocked by Whiteside. And he gets it back. And now we get a chance to check out Donovan Mitchell. Unbelievable play for him over the last month. Third in scoring. And he's among the top 20 players in three-point field goal percentage. He has been locked and loaded from beyond. And the only way you average top three in points if you have that scores mentality. He knows he's the go-to guy. Shooting and two. everyone else knows it as well. The first free throw is good. So he makes both from the line. Oh, he's such a good free throw shooter. I mean, it frees him up to be as aggressive as he wants in the post. Bogdanovich finds Mitchell. There's the drive. The teardrop falls in. Mitchell's got 15. And so tricky there with the floater. Mitchell, aware of when he should try his luck shooting that shot. Outside, Green. Oh, and he pops it off the glass. Wow. Here's Shengun. Banked in off the glass. shengun has got four this quarter. A uh, straight-up effort gets him those points. That's what it's all about on the offensive glass. Mitchell gets to Conley. He dishes it to Whiteside. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Oh, he's so strong, it's tough to prevent Whiteside from finishing no matter how much contact there is. You better wrap him up well. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Houston. They base their offense around the three-point shot today, and that was the right move. It's been a huge weapon for them all game. And also, guys, they take a lot of pride in their ability to rebound the basketball, especially on the offensive end. That one misses for Whiteside. Yeah, and that's what you like about Whiteside. I mean, the rim protection, the rebounding, the intimidation factor. I mean, still developing as an offensive player, making strides, but not there yet. Now, here's Nawaba. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. There's a good screen. Here's Porter. Good D by Mitchell. I thought that one was going to go down. Mid-range jumpers. Oh, man, that's usually a bunny with the deep playing soft like that. Here's Mitchell. He's got 15. Here's Whiteside over Martin. Whiteside, good. Whiteside's got it all tied up now for the Jams. Not to be denied. Whiteside's NBA career didn't start until he was 25. 
those hoops. Augustine passes to Porter. And it's blocked by Whiteside. Larson outside. Back to Gay. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Gay's got his first pass. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle stats for the Jazz? All those block shots, that's a clear indicator of the great D they've been playing. Not giving them an inch of space out there. And also, their second chance points have been a story all night as well. But that's just pure effort and hustle. Back to Augustine. From deep three-point range, and the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Let's take a moment to see the squads that have been the most dominant on the glass this season. The fourth spot held by the Jazz. You know, it's not necessarily a glamour stat, but, but make no mistake, their top-notch board work has been a huge key to their success. Jazz have gone 6 of 10 from the field in the third quarter. Here's Mitchell with the drive. It's rebounded by Houston. shingun has got six rebounds now in the game. Porter kicks to Augustine. Up top, Porter. He's covered by Clarkson. Some nice passing there by Houston. For the three-point line, it's Augustine. Another miss by Houston. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold stream. This is a right and He knows it. The best thing they can do is try to get him more easy looks. The Jazz doing their fifth free throw of the game here. 14 foul. At the line for Utah. Hassan Whiteside. One shot. One misses for Whiteside. Rockets trail by four. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Utah's gone three to seven tonight from three-point territory. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. Whiteside, good. They're not playing defense with anywhere near the passion they showed in the first half. There, there's been a big-time drop-off. Timeout call for Rockets. Oh. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Without question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks. The 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 they'd the like to reverse. Let's see it Sam. Sam, your chance, dancer. two rebounds. When you have a shooter like him off the bench, it makes scoring so much easier for the bench. Yeah, when he's taking on the scorer's role for that second unit, then the others can go focus on what they naturally do best. To the right side. And it's D.G. Augustine with the foul. 
That's his first foul. Yeah, really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Jazz leading by six. Clarkson with the ball. He has five. Gay sets the pick for Clarkson. Drives to the hoop. No good. Rockets trail by six. Martin the pass to Augustine. Down low. Will it go? And the layup is up and in. Shingun's got eight points. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. This is at the white side. 130 left to play in the third. Clarkson looking for an opening. Five to shoot. It's up a three. It's rebounded by Houston. His bad night from the field is only going to get worse if he keeps throwing up shots like that. Here's Porter. Some solid defense from Clarkson. And here's Gay. He'll bring it up for the Jazz. Four-point game. Ingles kicks the white side. Jazz passing it around. Pass to Ingles. Lock at six. White side sets the pick for Ingles. Back to white side. It's good for the seventh time this game. He shot seven. He has made seven. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now here is Augustine. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Martin the pass to Shengu. Clearly a foul. That's on. That's on. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. The Rockets have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit 8 of 10. Shooting two. First one falls for him. A different look for Utah. Gobert comes in for Hassan Whiteside. And Bogdanovich is subbed in for Joe Ingles. One goes in. Two from the line that time. 30 seconds left here in the third quarter. Some dishes to Mitchell. On the left block. He doesn't hit that one. Great tee that time from Martin. Out to the right wing. Augustine passes to Shengu. And here's Martin over Gay. No bear with the block. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. It's the Jazz leading by four. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Control the pace. Get it to the right guy at the right time. These requirements top the list if you're a good point guard. Come on, Sam. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Jazz leading by four. Mitchell in at the two with Bogdanovich at small forward. Rudy Gay is out there with Rudy Gobert. And it's Conley in at the one. That's the group right now for Utah. Here's Gay outside. It's rebounded by Tice. The Rockets shooting just 26% out there. A terrible showing from an offense capable of much better. 
he's done almost no damage to the three-point range in this game. No threes in this half, and only one in the first. They get it back. Gay can't get it to go. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for the night. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. But after winning the championship in Germany, Tice came to the NBA in 2000. 17 for you immediately became an important part of the rotation. Two shots. Shooting two. That one is off. You know, Chris, what's great about Tice is his positional versatility. Well, he can play the four or the five, and, you know, he's a great rim runner. He can knock down the three here and there. And defensively, he, he shows well, even against great quickness. He hits the second from the line. Jazz leading by three. The pass to Gobert. Conley with it. Gobert with a screen on wall. Ball against come. Just five to shoot. Goes up on the high post. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wood. Jazz ball. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. And Bogdanovich kicks to Conley. Six to shoot. Bogdanovich left side. Over Gordon. That's just all tenacity. You gotta love it from Gordon. Not the biggest guy, but doing all he can to annoy shooters. Here's Wall. And the basket is good. The call goes his way. And we could be looking at a three-point play. Second personal foul. Second team foul. And the first thing you notice about Green, the next level athleticism, incredible burst off the dribble, and make smooth adjustments midair. John Wall at the line for one. One shot. Tied up with that one. And one can only imagine what Green will be like great with a little time. And he's still refining his shot release. Still working on getting others involved. But we haven't seen a two-guard into the league with this much potential in quite some time. And they pick up two. And the Jazz lead by two. And the bulk of Gobert's offense is going to come down low. Even if the D knows that, it can still be tough to stop. Here's Wall. Oh, oh the power on that brutal. Wow. We all know Wall loves putting on a show. He has some ridiculous dunks up his sleeve. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Mitchell passes to Gay. Conley dishes to Mitchell. Gay is screen on green. Mitchell gets to Conley. Gobert with a screen for Conley. Wood with the block. To take the lead. And Houston again with the bucket. Well, Gordon has such fluid shooting form. I mean, it's just incredible. He's effective off the dribble as well. Goes to Bogdanovich. Mitchell against Green. Gobert the screen. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. And Utah making a change here. Ingles is checked in. Ingles! Houston in the lead. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Green. 
That's his third foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. And so it's Ingles with it. He brings it up for the Utah Jams. Pass to Gobert. Kicks to Mitchell. Gobert, the screen. Now Conley. Poked loose. Wall with the steal. Outside, Green. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Mitchell outside. Mr. Gobert. Here's Mitchell. Gobert trying to get open, and it's Mitchell missing. Rockets have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Good pass to Gordon. All against Cub. Just five on the clock. Pulls up. High post. Off the left rim and out. Utah trailing here. Dishes it to Ingles. Ball against Cub. Back to Ingles. To end the cold streak. That one doesn't drop. And the Rockets take it the other way. That'll be game two of four straight on the road. And Green gets it to go. That gives him two three-pointers for the game. One in each half. I mean, he may add to that total pretty soon. Utah calls timeout. Utah. Look at John Wall. What a contribution so far. He's been a thorn in their side all game. They'll probably use this timeout to change up their D. The system there right now it just isn't getting it done. All right. Look who's coming onto the court. Come on. Get loud for your chance, David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. During that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Quinn Snyder said to his team. He told his guys, tempo, more tempo. We've got to be quicker into transition. Push the ball. Let's get some opportunities before their defense can set up. Kevin, back to you. Here's come. He kicks it to Ingles. Gobert with a screen on Gordon. Down to five on the shot clock. Ingles dishes to Bogdanovich. Shot to stop the run. It's deflected. We've seen Tice amongst the leaders and blocks. He's not a player you want to test too much. Ball against Cunn. They kick it out to Green. Here's Wall. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. This is third personal foul. 
Shooting for Houston. John Wall. One shot. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And that one falls for John Wall. Jazz trail by eight. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And the pass to Gobert. Back to Mitchell. Outside Bogdanovich. Five on the clock. Gobert with a screen for Bogdanovich. And it's Bogdanovich again missing. His offense has been not existed tonight. This really hurt him. Now Green. Outside wall. Pass to Tice. Let's it go with a three. Utah with the rebound. Gobert's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Conley feeling it out. Bogdanovich with a screen on Tice. Back to Ingles to stop the drought. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Conley's got his third assist on the night. I love the awareness. Conley is adept at reading the defense and realizing when his guys are going to come. Now here's Wall. Crosses over. Tice trying to break free. And Green with the lay-in. And the Rockets lead by eight. And he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. Gobert with a screen on Green. Here's Mitchell. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Passes to Gobert. Gobert with a screen for Mitchell. Good with the block. And now running it up the court. Green pushing it all the way. That one good for two. And it's a 10-point Houston lead. Oh, he's got a roll in this quarter. Taking it on himself to guide their offense. Mitchell passes to Gobert. Green against Mitchell. He takes it in over Green. Green with the block. Wall against Mitchell. Wall up top. The feed to Green. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Michael Conley picks one up. At the line for the Rockets. Jalen Green at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Jordan Clarkson, he's checked in for Mitchell. Good on both. Greg, you've got the unique opportunity right now to watch your son Cole follow in your footsteps. What has changed for players now versus when you play? Well, I, I think the players today are so much smarter. And they prepare to be pros at such an earlier age. And honestly, I think that's one of the advantages our league has. You know, you don't have to teach these guys responsibility. You may have to teach them the game. But they are ready, willing, and able to work to achieve their goals. That's his first personal foul. So it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Utah Jazz. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two Green minutes. against Clarkson. Gobert with a screen on Green. Here's Clarkson. A terrific shot on the turnaround. Clarkson's got it back down to a single digit deficit for the Jazz. Ball against Conley. Pass to Gordon. Inside, here's Green. Nice shot from 10 feet out. 
A 16 points for Jalen Green. Eric Gordon. But he's a guy that can do many things well. I mean, Gordon is far from just a shooter. He's good at passing, too. Here's Clarkson. It's rebounded by Tice. Tice's pockets leading by 10. Green kicks the wall. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got six assists in the game. Showing he can still take over off this. It's a throwback night for Wall. Gobert trying to get open. Shots good by Clarkson. Clarkson's got six here in this quarter. And that's a perfect setup. Silas Green, defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the front. And now as the clock ticks down, this is going to end up as a solid victory here for the Rockets. If they had to battle for this win, there were times when it looked like it was maybe slipping away a bit, but they never let that happen, which I thought was a real credit to them. And that's a product of their mental toughness. Anytime the floor of the game turned against them, instead of caving, they just dialed it up a notch and were able to pull away. And so this will now translate to 14 wins on the season. And really, they finally got something good to happen against this team. The last two games they faced them weren't nearly as productive. And while there was some nice performances tonight, it definitely ended up being a solid outing for Jalen Green. His passes were crisp tonight. Pinpoint. So many easy buckets came off his assist. But they tailored their offense around him. Let me tell you, he loves playing in this system. And so it's Houston with it. 13-point lead. Wall against Conley. Here's Wall. So we see Houston taking the W here. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much with John Wall. John, do you think this team has reached its potential or is there still room to grow? Uh, we can go to a high level. You know, we still can get better defensively, offensively. Uh, our efficiency is not there yet. You know, we still get used to playing with others. We got a lot of room for improvement. That's good news for Wizards fans, John. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As New Balance presents our player of the game, John Wall.